so she definitely is it. She can't be. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> on that note, we started. Yeah, what Wait, the heck uh, was that? <laughs> Whoa! Nollywood is undefeated. Nollywood is undefeated. Oh my gosh! There's nothing better. Nollywood. Undefeated. It's bringing back memories now. Really? Oh. <laughs> Listen, the oh, clip wow. we just saw. Wow. Just stupidity. That, we'll put the link. We'll put the link. We'll put the link. You watch yourself. Just stupidity. For those who grew up in African households, especially, I'm sure you've watched. You know about Nollywood. Yeah. Crazy storylines. Crazy acting. Crazy budget. Boy, 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 boy. There's, there's. I think the first Nollywood. To, did you see the first movie that went on uh, Netflix? Uh, it was Which called that? Lion. Lionheart or something. I feel like I did. That yeah. was a while back as well. That was a decent film, if I can remember. <laughs> that was decent. Yeah. I just couldn't take it. I didn't watch it, but I just yeah. couldn't take it seriously, man. I'm sorry. But Netflix is like they're investing in Hollywood. I've seen a couple. And then was on Prime as well. My yeah. sister's always using my account, buying films to go and watch things. Like <laughs> so make sure you're paying me that. Pay me back. But yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> Uh, it's it's just it's so crazy because I remember um, when like uncles aunties just come like to your yeah, house or you go to someone's house beautiful. and then you just put that CD in. Yeah, I actually didn't like it because <laughs> oh sorry, just testing the new soundboard. Okay, that we have. yeah. <laughs> um, what was it? I remember I didn't like it because in my house there's only one TV. I didn't have okay. a TV in my room. Yeah. So when I wanted to play PlayStation, I couldn't play. Cause I, I knew every time my uncle would come over, yeah. he would put that disc in and yeah. everyone would be locked in. So no, let me tell you what I struggle, yeah. <laughs> we even had like two TVs, yeah. But we didn't have a DVD player. This was back in the day, innit? Okay. So then they used like our PS3, whichever more console it was at the time, yeah. to come and play DVDs. So I yeah. couldn't use my thing. Yeah. My, my PlayStation became the, the house. DVD yeah, 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 yeah. I, I won't play yeah. mine as well. <laughs> I won't play my Xbox. <laughs> And Xbox, at one yeah. point, it's just amazing. Yeah, good times. African, African good times. households, <laughs> very, very special. Oh, wow. So that's that's enough of our African story today. Yeah. Uh, shout out, Bird Boy, Africa Giant. Random Come shout on. out. You know, if you yeah. haven't heard the album, you should go listen to it. It's a amazing. It's a amazing. masterpiece. For real, it for really, real. is actually a masterpiece. For real. Um, but today's topic, we're gonna get straight into it. Is does money matter? Does money matter? Well, we definitely know money talks. Money talks, 100%. Money talks. Definitely money talks. But in terms of, okay, let's start off the basic generally. When it comes to job, a salary, does, I know you're probably going to get a very obvious answer, but does money matter when it comes to salary? Money matters. Money definitely matters. Money matters. Obviously, you. Money matters for the essential needs. What's that? Um, food, clothing, warm shirt, or whatever. But yeah, money matters for those things. But living in in this first world, living in London, yeah, money definitely matters, hundred percent. Does money matter at the expense of you working somewhere and not being happy? For some people, not me personally. Okay. I couldn't work. I couldn't work somewhere where I don't feel feel like my skills were being utilized, or I wasn't happy, or it was just not the right atmosphere or, or scene for me. I couldn't work there, but for some people, they will happily do it. Mm. And actually, to be honest, I don't know if I could do that because if you free the right amount, would I bunch? I don't know. I have to be put in that situation. I think everyone has their threshold. Everyone does. I think everyone, like that classic said, everyone has their price. Yeah. yeah. Everyone has their price, you know. I think everyone really does. Mm. Um, but then again, some people will say, you know, speaking to, to, to the people watching who... And obviously, well, you, you're in the room virtually. <laughs> <laughs> Money doesn't matter. They put their happiness, they don't have a price, you know, to say so, where um, they can't, they don't believe they can be bought, you know, and they, mm. if they feel uncomfortable, then they basically, they won't be in the context of working, they won't be at that job. So money doesn't matter for them. I don't even think so. 
I feel like if you live if you live in London, London's a money matters to you. Because unless you have the bare minimum, unless you have like or like even the stuff you own, even down to like a car or something, yeah. I want you to just have a basic car. Don't have anything that's flashy, anything that's nice, yeah. Mm. For me to tell me money doesn't matter, yeah, you should just have the bare necessities, like you should just be have a the minimalistic lifestyle. Mm. You should just have one t shirt, one one shorts. <laughs> you could have five boxes. Uh, no, have several boxes because please don't be recycling Don't be doing that. But yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's all you need. But anything else is a luxury. Anything else is extra. Okay. That's uh, the basic needs. The basic needs, I agree. So to and, an extent. As we learned in business. Yeah, the first, the basic, first class I still remember. This came from my head. I can't remember the name of this. It's Mr. Dillo, isn't it? Mr. Dillo. Mr. Diddy and... Is it Diddy or Dillo? Diddy. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember Lenny used to go dilly dilly dilly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but okay, the basic needs, okay, fair enough. But some people would say that, like, if you're not, you're, you're a sellout to yourself. I know it's a bit heavy to say, but you yeah. are being a sellout to yourself. You're doing something and you're unhappy, you know, you're not happy with what you're doing or you're just doing yeah. it for the monetary value yeah. you're not for of course like it, it might not be a bad thing you know to have that as a motivation but that's your main motivation and you're mm. you're unhappy but you're doing it just for that mm. but then again i think some people on one on one other side will be like okay i'm just doing it for the time being yeah because i have to mm. but then again everyone has a choice well, but then the circumstances, it's it's a sticky one to be honest. It actually is. It's, I don't think there's no. I don't think there's a definitive answer to this. Yeah. yeah. I think definitely to an extent money does matter, but mm. like in terms of like working job, like yeah. even like you need money to survive. It's true. <laughs> it's true. But I think thinking about it like in um, a business perspective, I've learned is that. Money does matter, obviously, like, you're not going to be able to do anything without money. Yeah. But if money is your only motivator and the main one, then you're not really going to go far. Yeah. Because you, because money, because the way I've, I've, I've actually noticed that we think as humans and people is that if you're doing some of business in that context mm. and money is the main thing that matters, you will be chasing the money, so all of your decisions will be short-term decisions. Yeah. And as we know just in life, if you every short most <laughs> if not all short-term decisions always have a long time effect. Yeah. They don't there's no longevity, you know, behind that stuff. Mm. And also if you're trying to build a business and money is the is the um, is the main thing, when it comes to like obstacles that you'll face and stuff yeah. like that, you're gonna be looking for a quick way. But like the thing is like even if you're on YouTube, probably watching this on YouTube right now, or listening or watching YouTube when I whenever. I it took me, it didn't take me long, but I think everyone comes to the realization that all these YouTube ads about you can make 10k in a month, you can make 50k. Look at this example here. It's rubbish. It don't it's rubbish. It don't exist. It's rubbish. But you know what? I've clicked on some of those ads just to see what these things are about. And it's yeah, so, it's so funny. Have, yeah, we all have. They always try to sell a package. They're always selling a package. That's where they make their <laughs> That's where from. they're making their money. So you that's trying to seek a way to make money. They're making money of you trying to seek that. So <laughs> it's funny because like I remember uh I'll be honest, it's so scripted you have to be vulnerable. <laughs> there was a time early this year, I think I had like I said, I clicked on the package, I even watched like the <laughs> webinar. I was thinking, whoa, like maybe this thing might be genuine. Yeah. I spent a whole 25 minutes, 30 minutes watching the webinar. At the end, they said, okay, if you want the rest, wow. we all need to buy. You know, they use the words yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you should buy this package if you're serious, blah, blah. Wow. Thinking, wow, what a hook, you know. You didn't buy the package. Of course not. No way. <laughs> but some people do. Yeah. Some people do. And listen, you know, don't, don't, <laughs> I'm not going to use the word. <laughs> but then again, people. even those packages, you know, they might actually might be useful. You never know. Some of them, some of them are de definitely there, yeah, just for like, to, for the, whoever are the person that made it, to, for them to profit, but I feel like some of them might actually be useful. 
it's funny because even with like the examples of success, success stories that they have mm. have you actually ever seen the um, like have you ever actually seen either yourself or someone else interacting from the public with them if that makes sense mm. You know those f- fake success stories? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's true, you never know something until you try it, but... <laughs> like, like, okay, let me try to say it. As a real person, yeah. like, being able to actually talk to them. Not a robot or something yeah. just made up to see that, oh, actually, no, what you actually it's, did it's is actually, actually true. Yeah. So, it's true. I disagree very much with that. <laughs> I yeah. disagree very much. There's no, there's no... And listen, if you wasted your money, you know, on that, Bro. Don't do it on the past, you know. What's done is done. Yeah, at least now you know. One, yeah. At least now you can save our people. Yeah, for real. I'm just wasting their hard earned money. <laughs> but for me, yeah, I'm like, there is no, there is no short term or, or quick way of making money. Mm. There is no quick way. So number one, if anyone is trying to sell you one package, yeah, that tells you you can make this much this quickly or that, there's no way. Mm. That's it's not true. Time and work and effort has to go into it. No matter what you what you do, mm-hmm. even if, even if, even a drug dealer, <laughs> they have to go out and go and get. There's there's an element of work that mm-hmm. comes to anything. There's no no such thing as just money just coming in. So, mm. boy, yeah, and yeah. then some people again might say, okay, but I maybe uh, I found a way to make money quick, blah mm-hmm. blah blah. But I think it, it, again it goes back to the sustainability for the future. Yeah. You know, is it like ask yourself, is it really? Are you going to be like e- even if it's uh, for those who know about like Facebook ads and stuff like that, uh, which I had to really go through my lesson, you know, regarding using that. But anyway, um, using advertisements and marketing and in fact whatever kind of way, mm. is it sustainable for the future? Is it? It's working now. Will it work yeah. again next year? <laughs> Will it keep working? For the next few years, you need to ask yourself these questions. Because if money is the main indicator and the main thing that you're chasing after, then that's what you're seeing. It's like a dog with a bone. Mm. The dog just sees the bone now, you know, just where it is. That bone is not going to last. He's not thinking about, oh, tomorrow. He's just seeing the bone right now in front of him, just just dangling there. You know, so something that you should definitely ask yourself. But would you say, is there ever a scenario where money could be your motivation i think like i said i I don't think there's a i don't think it's black and white because i'm sure like especially if your parents have come here you know from from where they've come from wherever it's been you know africa caribbean asia wherever Mm. to a first world country like london america wherever yeah they've had to at some point most of them do certain jobs or Mm. do certain things Mm that they necessarily didn't like but money was was important to support the family yeah you know so i think that's definitely a big exception that's why i think it's it's not easy to say it's wrong and it's not and at the same time i don't think you could say it's completely right at the same yeah. time you know but i think every situation brings this different kind of problems to be honest. Yeah. That, that needs to be sold. I don't think anyone would argue with like you sacrificing for your family, maybe doing certain jobs that mm-hmm. you possibly you maybe oh didn't even, yeah, mm-hmm. you maybe didn't even study for or whatever, yeah. but to support the family in the long term. So that's kind of like a kind of a juxtaposition. It kind of kind of works the other way mm-hmm. at the same time. So if we switch then to relationships <laughs> Does money, money, does yeah. money matter in relationships? Money matters. Way before the relationship. Yeah. Do you know? And for you guys say, oh no, just, no, 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 we're gonna talk, man. We're gonna talk. For real. Money matters in relationship. The other one, yeah, before you even get into the relationship, yeah, I feel like, well, I'm just talking uh, from a standpoint of a guy living in London, yeah? I feel like you need a certain amount of wealth or you need to prove that you have a certain amount of funds or something like that before you're even looked at before not i'm not talking about every female mm-hmm. but I've, before you're even before you, you even get even any form of attention mm-hmm. like i compare it to like being in other in like other cities and other countries like even if i'm approaching someone like the vibe i get at first is much more friendly and it's much more like you know welcoming 
in another country or like like in other places yeah, in the in Europe. Yeah, in London there, I just feel like a lot of the females, I'm not I'm not trying to generalise there. Um, <laughs> a high percentage are looking for a certain level of wealth. Yeah, do you know, and it's very ironic you said that because I remember I was watching a podcast, I don't think it was a podcast, but 50 someone was on a radio yeah. interview and he was saying, listen again, this is not all females, okay, <laughs> but when a female most time is attracted to a male or, well actually, you know me I'll say most time, let me rephrase, yeah. even though it's, un- it's unfiltered, but I need to still get my point, point across properly and clearly. When a woman is uh so some women maybe most i think some some women are attracted to men because again the context of money mm. but it's because they see um their future in that person's security if that makes sense oh, wow. so when I, when it hit me i was like whoa wow, that's you know <laughs> so when when you get somewhere in life and so, so women are starting to act more friendly are now are now trying you know um get with you because of the status you have or the money of course money builds status power so and so forth yeah. blah blah most of the time it won't be because of who you are but it's because they see you as their future yeah which is deep mm. it's very very deep complex probably another episode but it, yeah I'm just <laughs> there. before I, before i digress even more no nah, you know i've got this is a funny story. I don't this think it's actually, bad. I don't think it's, it's bad. Not, it's yeah. not bad. But at the same time, it, uh, I don't know. Like, is I don't know, man. I don't know. But yeah, I've got one. It's just it's, it's a funny story. But anyway, I had one of my friends there. This is a female friend. Actually, two of them there. We just got into this discussion. A similar discussion like what we're talking about mm. now, yeah. And um, one of them must have been like, oh, yeah, you got one of this one of your friends there. My guy, well, now mm. there's now a guy friend there. It was like, oh, and then she was like, oh yeah, this guy is handsome. What does he do? And all this kind of stuff. It was like, oh yeah, I should, I should link them up or whatever. Mm. And then I was just like, yeah, so um, like he freelances, like he works in media, does all this kind of stuff and all that. And the moment I said that, she was just, she just switched off. Crazy. <laughs> and do you know what her first reply was? So what, he doesn't like, he, he, um, what do you call it? So he doesn't have any security. <laughs> What? I was like, you see, wait, that's the, that's how did the you problem. Even, you, you, how did you even get that's to that the conclusion? Problem. You just jumped there. Like, you didn't even, you skipped from A to, to, to Y. You just went Z. Oh my gosh. So, I, fam, it's, it's weird because, fam, we don't have, ch- I don't, as a guy, I don't even have a chance. Unless I'm coming through you with peas, unless you're seeing peas on the table like that, I don't even have a chance. You know what? I'm trying to look for the the, the boo or the boo button yeah. or the soundboard. Yeah, I can't even find it. Whoever that was, yeah, boo, mate, boo to you. I hope the friend is watching. I hope they. Oh just, my uh, gosh, that is that's you see that's the extreme level of it, man. And that's like what I was saying. You know, um, I think although we're in a society where feminism is pushed and yeah. you know, person for me, I think women are trying to be more like men and not more like themselves empowering each other yeah i think that naturally a woman who wants to be with a man also vice versa because we're 2019 wants to find security in their partner which is okay but when it's the when it's like you're saying there's a thing where you just see like your dollar signs euro signs pound signs whatever you want to call it and you just see that man for if i can say like your your key, basically your key to live. Yeah. Because that's it's funny because that's why some some women in society, men as well, not just women, mm. but some some people in society will uh, again it, it's it's joked about a laugh. But some people get married literally just for the passports it's because true. they see that security in that yeah. person. Yeah. They don't see it as okay. You know what? Um, I actually love you as a general person. Yeah. They see the security. Uh-huh. They yeah. want their stay. Or they yeah. want their financial future stabilized, mm-hmm. you know, which is the extreme, which is it's it's it's, it's crazy. <laughs> it, it's actually crazy because like I feel like that's even had an effect on like on guys. Well, maybe the other way as well, but a lot of guys where 
you have this whole kind of image culture, like guys mm-hmm. going out of their way or doing mm-hmm. things, like or wearing things, or owning it. things. They can't sustain <laughs> it. They can't and do you, it. And you go, you go exactly. to the club and buy this, this, this yeah. one bowl yeah. with one, one day's wage. <laughs> Come on, bro. You Come can't, on. They can't afford it. But to, it, to impress the female, yeah, to yeah. impress whatever, like you're, you're doing this, you're going out of your way. Like, and then that just brings on the cycle again because then now you're trying to look for ways for you to now fund this lifestyle mm-hmm, as well. Mm-hmm. So maybe you go and do something dumb or end up doing something yeah, that yeah, yeah, you yeah, don't want to do just so that you can live, mm-hmm. you know, keep up appearances. It's a, <laughs> it's a vicious cycle. It's a vicious cycle. And to be honest, both suffer because at the end of the day, you know, uh, the one person who is on the end of that and doesn't have a chance yeah. is obviously had probably you know is affected with lower self-esteem blah yeah. blah but the other person who might even find what they're looking for eventually you just see that in life you know that that the external facade and stuff mm. it doesn't make you actually happy it doesn't make you happy you know mm. that kind of that cliche or oh, a rather cry in a in a, in a ferrari you, know, <laughs> you don't know what sadness is man you really don't know sadness don't. as human beings you know external things money all that stuff it will not make you happy as much as you you have and sometimes i think about it in like as 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 young people you know sometimes we want the new crepes or we want to see this movie blah blah mm. and we're really really gassed excited want to go on a holiday but then when we go on it or we you obtain it that level of excitement is not the same yeah it's just not the same it's not it's just like okay yeah it's done. That what next? <laughs> it's just it's just really really not uh, the same, you know. So that's definitely a a, a big no no. That is <laughs> that friend listening. That girl. May I hope you changed. Yeah. I hope you changed. I'm yeah, telling we'll you direct see. as well. I, I really <laughs> hope you changed. This took it directly straight <laughs> down to the camera. Live and direct. AJ, AJ <laughs> Tracy. I'm quoting him too. Hey! Wow. You know, and if you do have that mindset, you know, don't obviously I'm not trying to offend anybody, but it's not healthy. It, 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 it's really not healthy. It does matter in terms of a partner should bring like some security to the table. Obviously you don't want to bump, mm. you know, we're not gonna be bums, you know, but exactly. <laughs> it I think it makes it harder even on the guy or, or girl who's maybe looked at that way mm. because they can't find we're going into relationship territory now i don't think they can find they're very skeptical they become skeptical then because yeah. when they actually build something mm. then it's kind of like oh okay we're getting along but is it really for me or again as you're saying are you looking at what i have and what i can give you that's, bit, that's why i feel like a lot of relationship crash because what is it actually built on it wasn't really built on truth anyway it was built on 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 vanities in a sense mm. things that per, things that will perish things that are not that have no depth or substance to it so i know man i just wanted an excuse to use that <laughs> <laughs> No, but a hundred percent, you know, a hundred percent agreed, and that might even be an episode in itself that we'll probably even talk about. You mm. know, going into relationships, but we're just gonna bring everything bring back, back, bring it back, and probably um, the third one off the top, uh, family. Does ma- does money matter in a family sense? You know, there are some kids who kids and when I say kids like so, probably even kids that are not even young but uh, mm-hmm. big big men big women you know where if their parents they only use their parents for the money you know or they're only grateful for what they can get from them and if they don't have that money then they don't matter which is kind of it's kind of deep mm-hmm. or you might have a relative that just comes around only for <laughs> good times yeah. you know <laughs> Nah, I'm sure you want to say something. The relatives are just telling you send money, send money. <laughs> Thinking that the money just just grows and the uh, trees just falls from the sky. In- it's interesting because then I think, especially going like in um African Caribbean household, like even from a very young age, you can see who's who, man. You can. You can really see who's who. You can. Who is really there, you know, for your family or you, genuinely, and those who are there for what you have. Yeah. 
and then obviously even through that it breeds jealousy and stuff like that yeah which which is not healthy but in the context of family i think obviously money matters you know a family needs to be supported and these are money you know for the basic needs shelter you know food drink um for stuff like that but in terms of like a bond um obviously not i think that's very clear yeah. but to have it you know it actually gets in between some relationships too it does it really really does you know and actually <laughs> it brings that separate put separation mm. between some siblings put separation you know between some relatives which is obviously not what anyone wants to see mm. you know so it is it is important but again it's how you look at it at the same time so i think generally like it matters in a family sense but it, even that it can't be built on yeah, it no. because then like if your family's going through a tough time and there's no money that means like you're not gonna like where's the bond <laughs> if uh -huh. it was tying you together is the money and the money goes then what's next where do you go from there yeah exactly 100 percent, 110 percent um so i think looking at those main 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 three pointers i think we could probably definitely agree that money does matter um, to an extent everybody has their threshold i think even though it's not the main topic but the way that you see money is also um, a big perception is always a big thing just in anything to be honest perception you know how do you see it what is what are your goals in life built on you know is you is your relationship Money is not bad, but is your relationship built on that money? Your family relationship on money, yeah. you know, your career for the long term, is it just for that money? You know, because at the end of the day, like, money is valuable, but it's only valuable when you use it, and obviously no one's going to ever spend all their money. So you have to realise that they're just numbers at the same time. Yeah. They literally, no one spends all their money. It's actually just numbers. If you think about how many millionaires there probably is in the world, how many of them do you even know? You don't even know any of them. Like, if they pass or whatever, mm -hmm. that's it. The money's still there. Mm -hmm. it, it, they're gone. Mm. But then if you've actually created a legacy or you've done something or, like, you've actually mm. affected, that's, that's when yeah. they know you. Yeah, that's it's true. Know you. And that's where it actually carries on and uh, um, it affects different people as well. Yeah. Not just those close to them, but, like, people that they even know. Like, for example, LeBron James, I think he's worth 500 million. Obviously, he's never going to use in his lifetime all that, all that money. No. And even if he passes on to his children, his children are going to use all that money. So what's actually the point of building the foundation of your goals in life Just on something that you're, you're not even yeah. going to use all of? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Or you're probably going to lose use it all or most of it or whatever for the wrong reasons. Mm. And then find out that, okay, actually, you know, the motive was wrong in, yeah. in, in the first place. Deep stuff. Yeah. No, no, it's true, though. Because at the end of the day, like, especially with, like, with music, yeah. movies, just the way, like, media is, mm. if you don't have money, you're failing. That's why we've been programmed. We've been programmed like that. Exactly. Young. Yeah. Like, yeah. Our, our value, our worth is in how much we own. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And going back to what we said at the start of the episode as well, uh, you want it quick. Mm. When you want it quick, normally... <laughs> you're going you're already going the wrong way yeah. because you'll make bad decisions <laughs> you you will make bad decisions 100%. you know even a serious going to jail yeah. um or you know as deep as i'm not gonna get too too deep to it but maybe selling your own humanity you know just for money just, just for money you know just because you want it quick you want it now you know and just for that the, the short-term affirmation that you want for mm. the people around you um or for even again it's weird and now it's going into probably a different conversation some yeah. people will say that for money yeah no matter how i get as long as i'm supporting my family mm. my child my so and so forth it's okay because my even though Money itself is not gonna is not gonna make me happy, but for the reason that I'm chasing it or I'm doing what's wrong, and I know I'm not comfortable with it, and I know it's wrong, it's okay because it's supporting my family. 
but or it's, okay. it's financing but the thing. something in the long term. It's only financing. It's only financing them like so maybe putting food on the table. But what what effects does the actions or whatever you're doing to get this money? How will it affect your family? Let's say you're a single parent and I don't know you're selling drugs or something like that. Mm. Okay, yeah, you're putting money on the table, but let's say you get caught. What happens to those kids? They go into care. That's that's what true. Happens then? That's very like, true. There's there's so many examples. There's so many examples. Like <laughs> I don't I don't feel like you should ever just do anything like just for the money. Like you can't, mm. even if it's even if it, you're in the most dire situation, there's always something mm. that you can do. Mm. Like. It never. It doesn't have to. It, where it comes to a point of crossing the line, like something that you wouldn't normally do, mm, or like something mm. that could affect your family, not just financially, but like maybe mentally or something like that. You don't emotionally. Yeah, you don't you don't have to pursue it. There's always an alternative. There's always an alternative. And the thing is, I feel like a lot of this comes down to like the mindset. I feel people need to change their their mindset of of, of what money is. Mm. That's true. That is very true. Because money actually, it actually isn't that deep. It doesn't have any worth. You give it the worth. That is true. You actually, the demand for it gives it the worth. There's certain currencies, like, I don't know, what do they use in Zimbabwe, where, like, two million of um, of, of the currency yeah. is, like, one pound. Mm-hmm. And why, why is that? What if exchange, um, exchange rates is, is all demand mm-hmm. or supply? How many? How much people want your currency? Yeah, yeah, demand real. your currency? For real. So let's say, yeah, it came to a point like nobody demanded money um, and thing because um, my well paper money wasn't always in mm-hmm. in print. Yeah, for real. Like even me, yeah, I would even rather value like gold or something that actually has uh, an actual worth. Mm-hmm. Kind mm-hmm. of thing. I could actually go and burn a note, and that's no, it. It's true. <laughs> that's actually it's it. actually true. That's actually it. It's so true. When so... you think about it like that, yeah, and think of how like. Passive, and yeah, it's it is. I think it passive is, is actually, it actually the is. perfect word. It actually, is. I need to remind myself this sometimes when I'm just doing things for, to chase money or well, not doing anything mad, but like, <laughs> when I'm just, I actually need to remind myself that. But yeah, it's, it's actually not not deep, it's nothing deep. It's true. It reminds me of like even in school when you learned about, um, uh, I can't remember, it was the economy crashing or something, yeah, and I think in Germany was it. Yeah, yeah. When it were literally buckets, pushing, buckets of no notes. barrels, and it weren't worth notes, anything. Nothing for a loaf of bread. <laughs> for a loaf of bread. Imagine having a million, a million pounds, and all you could get was a loaf of bread. That million pounds will virtually be. It's not valuable. For real, like. And the, and the mad thing yeah. is that could actually happen. That could actually be a be a reality. Mm-hmm. Anything can happen. We're and actually we're talking about Brexit. Yeah, and then what? The value of the pound already is going down. It could go down on a mad thing. And then what happens to everyone's worth? Mm. Everyone that was a millionaire is not a millionaire anymore. <sighs> so what's then? That's so true, you know. And depending on the foundations that you built your relationships Shit. on, yeah. your goals, your yeah. life on, when, if you could say the analogy, when the storm comes or yeah. something happens, then you'll see, you know, if you, you build on the right motive or mm. on the right thing. Yeah. Which is so deep, you know. You give you give man, sorry, you give money that value that's, that that it has that. You give <laughs> money that value that it has. Yeah. And it's just like whoa, wow. I mean, it's mad. It's mad when you actually deep it. And it's it's again, you know, go back to it. That word passive. It's just passive. <laughs> It's gone today, it's gone tomorrow, you're not even going to use all of it. Yeah. In fact, even the notes, they're dirty notes, man. Those notes have even been worse. You don't know who's even been touching the notes. With the time, man. <laughs> like, you're holding so precious and so tightly. Somebody could have literally just wiped their bum and just touched the thing, man. <laughs> It's true. It's actually true. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of sample. No, but I'm uh, serious, though. I'm not saying that you shouldn't value money. You should still value. Don't go and do stuff recklessly, not thinking about how you live yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, that's not what I'm that's saying. Not but don't give money. Don't let money be the end all. And don't let money be your reason for living. In a sense, mm. don't don't live for money. Mm. Mm. That's 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 very <laughs> true. And it's so simple, but it's true. Like sometimes we need to stop. Like you said, we need to remind ourselves yeah, about this. Yeah. Because you can get caught up into it. Caught up. You can get caught up so caught up. easily into it, and then you lose yourself. Yeah. 
but we have to be like self-aware of ourselves and this mm. otherwise you just get lost to the source lost <laughs> lost 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 to the source lost wow. to the source well guys that's it that's money matters money matters i like uh, that one <laughs> money matters money doesn't matter Oof. i think we did this on another episode i can't yeah. remember which one it was to be honest <laughs>